Okay, I have this noisy uh, noise on my uh, Nissan. Uh, it's a new uh, Nissan Sentra. Uh, it's a 92. It's got one of these kind of water pumps. So it's telling you this is the basic uh, Haynes Sentra manual. It's not really too technical. It gives general information. Um, and it's got this kind of water pump. And so, long story short, basically, they're telling you to loosen these bolts that hold that pulley on first. So that's why you got the tension on the belt. You have to loosen those pulley bolts first. Uh, of course, you want to drain your system, disconnect your battery, uh, that kind of thing. And let's see if I... So, what happened is I started getting this funny noise. I, I, uh, I thought it was the... Uh, cam on this uh, the cam chain or the cam chain guide or something like that because um, I uh, I was hot rodding around with it and all of a sudden wham I get this rat corner and kind of growling noise right and so what I found out is basically if you look kind of right in there you can see it that's the top of it of that pulley shining right there um, so if you stick like a screwdriver in there okay here's my here's my light if you stick like a long screwdriver or a long wrench in there, you can you can see if that pulley will jiggle. If that pulley jiggles, moves a little bit, then you know that pump's bad. This one actually did not leak at all, so it does not leak at all. So, but it's making this funny noise, and it's got like a really hazardous amount of play in it. You definitely don't want to be driving it with a bunch of play in it, and especially when it's making a bunch of noise. So basically, we need to take this mo motor mount off. I, I took the uh, radiator um, uh, tank off. I've been using some of this PV blaster to get in there and try and loosen up some of the bolts inside there. As you can see, it's going to be a pretty tricky job to get in there. That uh, there's the tensioner for that belt. It's uh, it's also what the power steering pulley. So that tensioner has to be loose, loosened to get to that belt, but we don't loosen it until we get those bolts loose. I'm going to have to take this uh, power steering thing out, uh, drain that, and uh, you know put it all back together as soon as I get that pump in. That pump cost me 50 bucks at AutoZone. I was going to buy it on eBay, but I figured I might as well put the local guys to work here. You know, uh, eBay was only like... 20 bucks plus ship plus uh, tax. AutoZone was like 50 bucks. AutoZone's put me to work before, so I'm good with that. Support the local cash economy kind of thing. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. Okay, here's the pump. So we see that it's got one, two, three, four, five, five bolts. Then it's got three on the side. Okay, so this got most of the bolts out. That bottom one on that water pump, that's a tricky one. So it's best to take the hard ones out first. And you can see if you can get them out. If you can't get the hard ones out, you know, might, might consider some other alternative. Uh, so, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a little tricky, but you can do it with uh, different kinds of sockets and stuff, uh, different kind of links. Um, I haven't had to take that motor mount out. I'm uh, able to get in there and uh, do it pretty much uh, without jacking anything up at this point in time. I don't know. I haven't got it out. I've got everything out except for that one bolt on the bottom. And so that's basically a water pump. That's where the bolts go. They are different sizes, so you got to be careful. This one up in front here is short one this one here can be the longest one so yeah this is the top and uh, so yeah this is a uh, this bottom one this bottom bolt on this thing is like really tricky um, I'm gonna have to set this camera down somewhere um, but yeah so I just kind of use the socket I've got a short extension on this thing it's like a an extension about the size of one socket and I'm trying to get in here and do this uh <clears throat> the power steering pump pulley uh, was fairly easy to loosen 
because it was already loose, sort of loose. Um, and then some of the bolts on the the uh, thermostat housing were a little bit loose. They weren't tight at all. And luckily for me, they put an uh, anti-thread locker on it. So they came off fairly easily. Yeah, so this, this one little bolt down here is like, uh, you know, it was like that on that water pump housing thing. You can only get one click at a time on the on, on the ratchet, and uh, well, it had like a bunch of threads, a half inch or an inch of threads. You could only get one click on the ratchet with <clears throat> this bottom one. And luckily, I haven't lost any. And here's the tip: if you're working on your car out in the sticks, make sure that in case you drop something, um, you're gonna have something clear to find whatever you drop because uh, if you drop it in a pile of sticks, you may not find that bolt or whatever you drop. <clears throat> so, yeah, this, I mean, it's a tedious job. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I like to kind of work on, okay, so this one's out of here. And I gotta make sure that I don't lose it because it's about ready to fall. Okay, it just fell. Should be straight down on the ground here. So that's all the screws out of that pump now. That thing should come off. Uh, of course, it's not going to come right off. And there's that screw, luckily for me. <coughs> so this screw goes right down there. So that's a shorty right there. And there's how the screws line up right there. So theoretically, that's all the screws in there. And I don't know, you can kind of see how loose that pump uh, is it's not coming out too easy I'm gonna have to pry on it a little bit tap on it see if I I think that's all the bolts I've got holding it in there okay Yahoo got it done okay this one you see look at that look at that slob it, it's like severe severe slob and it wasn't even leaking um, yeah, it was making a hell of a noise though. I thought it was my timing chain or something was going out. And just to let you know, um, even though you've drained the bottom of the radiator, there's still going to be some water comes out here when you pull this off. Um, so next thing we need to make sure all that surface is clean and dry. And, uh, well, that old gasket just like stayed in place. I don't know if I'm going to try and reuse that or not. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. There's that other gasket there. Yeah, so basically all I did was remove the radiator overflow tank, which probably didn't even really need. Yeah, no, I need to do that. Uh, take off that top motor mount, and uh, that's all I had to do to get that thing out. I didn't have to jack up the car or anything at this point. Um, yeah, so... It's just, we say, assemble in reverse order, right? It's like the manual says. Okay. So they had to get, go to Harbor Freight and pick up a couple little specialty tools. Not necessarily, but uh, I thought it might make the job easier. And uh, so I just got a couple more bolts to hook up here. Uh, for this, uh, what is it, the, uh, and what I did is uh, I just cleaned it up and re-gooped it rather than put a new s gasket on it. I'm just going to tighten it down to its torque and then be good, hopefully. Okay, got it all on there. It's all on there except for that pulley. So that fan belt pulley, that is pretty much of a trick to get back on. Because you have to line up the uh, the pump threads with the... Uh... And now a word from our sponsor. So, uh... Yeah, so that uh, that pump pulley is no easy way to do it. Once you get one screw started, I would imagine it's going to be pretty easy, but it does not want to sit on that. Um, so you have to use two hands. One hand to hold it, and then one hand to screw it in, to screw the nut in. And you can see there's not much room to get any hands in there. Um, but we'll keep trying. Okay, got it. So the way I did it, basically I put a little bit of kind of whatever tack glue kind of thing put it up in there held it for tried to line it up as best I could 
held it for a second, then it and then it stayed on that uh, water pump shaft, and then I could uh, basically use one hand to thread those uh, bolts in. And so yeah, had to get underneath to loosen up that water or that uh, power steering pump action, and I'll have to go back under there tighten it up as soon as I get this belt on. That would be done deal. Oh, after I put that motor mount back on. Okay, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Adios, amigos.